Okay, rewiring the whole internal stuff of the old power supply and of course we should start off with the most important connection and that is ground, mains ground just for security reasons and that was uh, the old ground point. I will probably reuse the screw but uh, this is some flimsy, no not flimsy but uh, it's an um, 0.75 square millimeter cable and um, I will replace that by a 1.5 square millimeter cable and yeah some fresh parts and I will connect it uh, to the mains power by using a quick connect or spade connector because um, yeah they, the old <laughs> the old way of doing it uh, no not the old way of doing it how they did it uh, they always um, soldered the connections flat to stuff. I mean all 220 uh, mains connections were soldered flat. You can see that in the uh, teardown video uh, card here linked below and uh, that's not a good idea. That's really not a good idea. If you have a soldered connection you have actually to go through the eye. That's what they are there for, to go through with your wire. Okay, um, let's cut that to size. So I want to come from here, yeah. Just roughly. From here, then I go up there just to keep it out of the way. Okay. Yeah, I preform the connections so the stuff, and then we go with a little distance into the spade connector. Yeah, maybe even a little more. Not too much because otherwise we're fucked. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Just takes the isolation off. This is awkward position. The, oops, sorry. Put it to the spare spade connector. Don't forget to put that part on before you crimp it. <laughs> yeah, too much copper. No problem. it into the spade connector. Yep. And prep the spade connector. I won't show you this in detail for the rest of the 
connections because that would be too much. Yeah, it's fitting in here. Prep the other one. Seems fine. Now I have to work around the iPad, which is hoovering over the workplace with my back bent down. So, yeah, I only will do this once. And this is, yeah. Crimp it. the isolation and we're golden yeah uh, this is actually heat heat shrink stuff but I will only heat shrink it after it's been connected and okay now for the other side and yeah I won't bore you with the soldering I'll be back when I soldered that lock uh, solder lock on okay okay that was kind of ugly getting the screw back in there and really tighten it down. I mean, that's the main screw connection, um, but I managed it. <clears throat> so without taking the transformer back out. So now we can put on the state connector. And then heat shrink this part here. I don't believe this is heat shrink, is it? Well, it's certainly warm, but it's not shrinking. Okay, good to know. Okay, now for the connection from the power connector and no, it's no longer uh, <laughs> connected to mains. Uh, from the power switch to the transformer and from the transformer or from the power switch uh, to our supply board. 2 times 5 volt for the instruments in the front, not to forget. But before that we have of course uh, to remove the old stuff. So, sorry, let's just do that first. Come on. And you see there are, is there a hole? Yeah, there's even a hole. There's a hole and there's a part where you can actually fit your wire in. And they did nothing of that. They just soldered this flat onto surface. That's not, as I said, they did it everywhere. And that's simply awful. Okay. Well, not quite there. Oh, sorry. Don't get dizzy. Now, 
Okay. So last time I didn't show you how I put on the heat shrink and uh, cut it to the size and uh, yeah. So it's uh, not quite simple, but um, <clears throat> you have to follow the steps. <laughs> Otherwise you uh, end up in a, yeah, in a quilter sack, in a dead end and cannot continue. So first I preform, yeah, this goes way up there, down there. Uh, the wires, that's step one. And the next step will be to cut all the heat shrink tubing uh, that is needed. Okay, that's a little bit more effort for me because I <laughs> have to bend them again and again. But first I put on some thin heat shrink tubing for uh, the end on the ends and uh, not all the way just uh, the lengths um, they are really running apart or I want to have some flex uh, take the two cables uh, yeah apart for example for uh, <laughs> uh, putting the spade connectors on Third, I put on the spade connector isolations. Um, wait a second. These little guys. And just a very, very short piece of large heat tubing, heat shrink tubing, uh, to later on keep them and hold them in place. And um, yeah, as you see, I haven't yet uh, pushed that all to the end. That happens uh, when the spade connector is con actually connected because um, these go in really, go on really hard over the spades, the connectors. So you better work, uh, have a grip on the metal than some soft plastic. Next comes another piece of big heat shrink tubing just for the length uh, where the two cables are supposed uh, to run together, which was quite long in this example, you know, just to keep them together, to keep it clean and nice and tidy. Yeah, and then small heat shrink tubing all the rest of the way and if I get that out for a moment just to show you of course uh, this is overlapping here has to be <laughs> 